Welcome to CNC Machinist Made Easy. Tonight we're going to start on fractions and how they incorporate in a ruler. You want to know how to read a ruler and you want to understand fractions. Very basic. Very basic. And the first thing I want to do is get you to understand what a fraction is. Please bear with me. If it's something you know that you know, move to the next video. But for those who are struggle with this, I want to show you in a perspective, not just a fraction, but how it works in the machine shop industry. What is a fraction? Just a real simple fraction is a portion of something larger. If I have a larger, a larger piece of pie and I want a portion of it, what portion, how big of a portion of that whole do I want, right? Just let's look at it in real simple terminology. Right here you've got a, a, a whole pie, we'll call it, right? If I call out one-fourth of that pie, I'm calling out that piece that's broken out. I'm saying one-fourth of this is what I want to address or what I want to focus on. The one corresponds to the number of pieces, that the size or the number of pieces I want out of the four that are available. Uh, and, and a better way to look at it, that's one-fourth, the one over the four. Um, now these can be translated into fractions. They can go from fractions and, and, and translated into decimals and back to decimals and fractions. We're not going to talk about decimals tonight. Um, uh, there's a reason for that and I just want to just very basically get you to understand on these first few videos just some important mathematics that need to be covered. You have to understand a fraction. You have an entire one piece you're calling out out of avail four that are available. What if I tell you, look at this image, and I tell you how many are not pulled out? What portion of this pie is not pulled out? It would be not one-fourth of it. There's four available. So still a four is on the bottom, but now we're focusing and trying to address on three. Three-fourths of the, that instead not four force would equal one the whole thing but if I say which one is not pulled away you would say three fourths of that is not pulled away just to get you to better understand that what would this fraction be uh, they're both equal so I could say what portion is green you would say well uh, one portion is green out of the two that are available one half you see if I put it in a real simple way a, a sentence I want one piece of the two pieces of this pie. Do you notice the fraction is right there? You see that? You can put that in a little sentence. I'm not showing you this because I think you're a two-year-old or a kindergartner. I'm trying to get you to paint a picture of what a fraction is. It's almost like a, 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 you have ways to look at it concrete and abstract. But this is try to understand the concept of a fraction. We can all plug numbers into a formula, but if you don't understand what's happening, it's hard to apply them when things change. Let's look at this. We have one, what, what portion of this is green, the second circle? There's one portion green. I want to address one-third of this pie. Then I would want to address one piece out of the three that are available, one-third. What if I wanted to address the two pieces it would be what? That would be white. The, well, two thirds of it would be white. Okay? You know, all these different ideas. You got the bottom. I think you get the idea. But what I want you to do is try to comprehend the definition of a fraction and the concept of a fraction. Most people know this. But if you don't, you know, study it. Get a notebook and, and go on Google and try to get the, try to comprehend what them fractions are. Here we are, same concept. What portion is green? Three quarters. What portion is blue? Three quarters. What portion is black? One fourth. One out of the four. What portion is blue? Three out of the four. Now what I want to do is I want to incorporate these fractions and break down an inch. Let's take an inch and break it into a smaller portion and take the fraction of it. Why do I want to use an inch? In the machine shop industry, Things are based on, for the 99.99% of the time, or for all that you're going to care about, is two units of measurement, inches and millimeters. Now, each customer, all I'm sure, has far out unique things. But for the most part, you're dealing with inches or you're dealing with millimeters. Normally, in the United States, they do standard, which is inches. Although millimeters is getting more and more popular, and I don't have really a big argument with that. It's a really easy concept, which we'll get into in the future. But let's take how this looks at a ruler. You see this ruler right here? Right there, you're looking at zero. 
right there you're looking at one I want to focus between those two white lines they have zero and one we're dealing with a one inch in the same way you would deal with that one pi okay now what I want to do is I want to break this one inch. I want to take portions of this one inch let's see right there at halfway mark what is that well, that's a half that's a half that's that's the half mark of that one inch okay sounds crazy you're probably thinking come on let's get on with it just just you know it, it, for, for those who want I want them to get the concept of it right here's a quarter notice we just took that inch and cut it in we took that inch the first we cut it in half something I want you to pay attention to now I'm cutting that in half and calling it a fourth a fourth of an inch now what happens if I cut that in half I have an eighth of an inch. Now I want to go back to the last slide and I want you to notice I like the rulers the different lengths. The shorter they get, you know, different lengths of the lines as you can see right here is reiterating the different portions and fractions they, they're breaking into. You have an eighth right there. All as we're doing here is we're breaking this inch into smaller parts. And in the machine shop world and in machine shop language concerning fractions and inches all as you normally do is break them. You're not going to have a blueprint for the most part that say four fifths. Is it a good fraction? Right. But you don't need to focus on that because you're not going to normally see a print like that. You're going to see a print that either says one. You're going to, I'll, I'll go back. You're going to see a print that says one, a half. I'll break that up. A quarter or three quarters. We won't call it two quarters because two quarters is a half. We already studied that. An eighth. How many eighths are there in an inch? There's eight of them, right? And the smaller line is a sixteenth. Right here is a sixteenth line. Now in the machine shop trade, normal things, um, uh, normal fractions only will really oftentimes go to sixteenths, thirty seconds. Rarely will you get down to the sixty-fourths. Um, and, and a lot of guys will memorize how the fractions that go into the decimal because there's only actually if you if you can memorize the sixteenths there's only sixteen numbers to remember you're breaking that inch into sixteen parts if you memorize thirty two broken parts of an inch you only really have to memorize thirty two parts so I'm, tr I'm trying to get you to paint a picture here whereas break it apart and put it in fractions call that fraction understand what that fraction is and that's how you read a ruler. If I tell you I want something three quarters of an inch long, I am going to, I got a little pointer here. If I tell you I have three quarter inches long, right here's the three quarter inch mark, right? That's the same as, um, it would be a half, it would be the same as six eighths, but no one says six eighths. There's, there's no reason to. This is three, this is uh, three quarters right there. So what, what I want you to understand is just break it up. You're not going to have them oddballs. You're going to start with one. It's going to go to half. It's going to go to quarter. It's going to go to eighth. It's going to go to sixteenth, thirty second, and then maybe sixty fourths. After it gets smaller than that, you're going to move over to the decimal for, for the most part because in the machine shop world, an inch is broken up into a thousand pieces. Imagine that. And that's why machine talk is always, how many thousands? Well, you have five thousands. Because if I took an inch and I broke it up into 5,000 different pieces, and I took five of those little strips together, and you would have that right there in your hand, that would be five thousandths of an inch. Because you would have five one thousandths. We're not getting into that right now. Because that's where more, more when uh, uh, the customer wants to be very exact. And we don't need that. So the basic concept of these fractions are just like we talked about here. So what I want you to do is take, understand fractions, Google them, maybe you know, maybe you don't. I wanna get back to the basics of what we did in, in grade school. It's not that I wanted to walk you through this simplicity like this, uh, the way I did, but I wanted you to get to understand. You wanna look at a, the fractions like, like just rehearse them and rehearse them. There's only, if you wanna remember 1 32nd and, and, and 1 16th, just memorize them. There's only, if you want to only break it up in a, an inch into 32 pieces, and after that, for the most part, you're done with your fractions, and they'll move on to decimals. Oftentimes, for a half inch, they'll give you a decimal, but we're studying fractions tonight. So once you get that, we'll move on to decimals. Some people will say, put this hole at a half inch away from the edge, and they'll have the fraction, one half. Other people will say, 
put it at 500 thousandths. That's 0 .500. Don't worry about it. We'll get into that on the next video or in the next couple of videos on, on the decimal way to show a dimension. Tonight, we just focused on the fractions. Fractions, there's only a few of them. In the machine shop world, 32, maybe 64, and a broken up in an inch. And, and, and you don't have to memorize them, but more importantly, understand the memorization will come as, it, as time goes on. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, subscribe, bear with me. The, the videos will get a lot more, or should we say for the most part, a lot less boring. So what I want to do is say again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you at the next video.